Welcome to the Average Rook. We are still playing Resident Evil 4. It is now time to explore this village to see if we can get through that door and utilize that uh, save typewriter. So we have to look around for something that might have something to do with that uh, icon that we saw. But we also might want to look around just before we do find something that can deal with that icon, just to make sure that we've got every item that we need. Also, I think I might switch back to this. And uh, possibly pump it up. I've got still, I've still got plenty of bullets. Also, I've worked out that um, when I'm on the English, I can't actually use the subtitles. Uh, the subtitles are only partial, like if you're talking to Hunnigan. If you are on the other languages, uh, French, Italian, Spanish, and German, and Japanese in the Japanese version of the game, uh, you get subtitles then. So you won't have any subtitles in this game, I do apologize. Many small insects are feasting on the leftovers. Alright, there's gotta be some other, maybe some other items. There was apparently something inside that, uh, that fire, um, what is it, that fireplace at the, um, at the beginning of the game. But I didn't find any water, so uh, I don't think I'll be coming back to that. Oh well. Let's look around and hopefully we don't come across anything that's going to try to kill us. You got 1,000 pesetas. Uh, in this, uh, can we break this? We can. And inside we get a hand grenade. Interesting. I wonder what we could use that for. Ooh, check. Uh, take the shotgun shells. Check. The bed is heavily stained. It seems as if no one slept in it for quite a long time. Oh. Definitely the type I don't get along with. What, cultists? Um, I still can't jump onto this. Oh well, doesn't matter. Can I... Why would I jump out of here? That seems like a bad idea. Alright, can I check uh, this at all? Or this at all? No. Alright, let's find another building to pilfer items from. Wait, hold on. Let me just check the map for a second. Okay, so the uh, the red circle is where we need to go. The red doors I can't go through because they have certain icons. Oh wait, there's a save icon right there. I'll probably have to go like around or something and then I'll come across something. Uh, it's just, it's standard Resident Evil affair. I wanna shoot that chicken. Well, there was a building up here. Let's go check it out before we get to the door. Don't know if there's gonna be enemies inside it. I just wanna be very careful. Okay, nothing. Oh, okay. So we've got nothing in that little box, but in here we've got flash grenade. Okay. That would be pretty good for crowd control. Alright, let's go around this way, behind this building, because I think I saw some boxes. Uh, wow. Is that a yellow herb? Yes, it is. I gotta find a green herb to mix with that. Ooh, red herb. Take the red herb? Yeah, sure. Hmm, can I combine all three of these? Let me check. So... Combine? Hold on, uh... The red herb... And combine with the yellow herb? Alright, green, red, and yellow. I don't know if I can use those yet. I might need those in case I get infected or something like that. Um, anyway, let's continue exploring. I see a sparkly thing all the way up there. I'm wondering how I can get into it. Maybe I have to go through that building. Uh, before I do that, I want to see what's through, uh... Can I open this door at all? I... I can't. Careful. Okay. Check. This barrel here looks like it's been broken. Alright, that's just a cow. Uh, this. Okay, that gives me 600 pesetas. Check, uh, several small items here, nothing useful though. They'd only be useful if they sparkled. Okay. Um, I won't close that yet. Oh. That gives me some shotgun shells, very nice. Uh, some more shotgun shells. Five of them. And this one gives me 1,000 pesetas. 
This dirty bed here it appears the stains are a person's blood. Okay, so I can double tap in order to uh, smash the thing open. Interesting. All right, I want to go through. Uh, is this important at all? No. So I can go through here. I want to see if I can go through the. Oh uh, wait, was this the one that I broke? Yeah, it was the one that I broke. So how do I get onto the roof then? Uh oh, I can jump out here. Nice. All right, so where was that sparkly thing? I should go around for that. So over the roof here. Uh, possibly up here. What's this? I got a spinel. I have no idea what that's for. I'm guessing it's just regular treasure. Maybe I'll be able to sell it. Um, let's just find out. Uh, keys and treasures. All right, we've got a spinel. Examine. Although small in size, it appears to have some value. So I guess we could sell this. Or maybe we couldn't equip it to something, I don't know. Um, let me take a look at the map once more. I think that might have been all that we could explore here. There's a tiny thing over there. And maybe a few small buildings. Let's see if we can uh, jump down. Okay, so that doesn't give us the option of just uh, running down. So that was the bell tower. Let's check. Uh, we're looking at the bell tower, yeah. And there's a shed right at the back there. Might check out the shed. Was there even something around here at all? There's a few boxes. Careful. Still the cow. Um, didn't go through here. It's just running through the buildings. This is like no etiquette at all. Ooh. Um, is that a fire grenade? Yeah, it's an incendiary grenade. Nice. And I got 1,000 pesetas. Got myself some handgun ammunition. Um, and then slice this open for some more pesetas. I got 800. Um, jump out the window. Then slice this open. For a red herb. Anything in here? Ooh, got some shotgun shells. Nice. All right, let's see if we can go up this thing. Uh, climb up. So we can't even move it ourselves. A lot of this is just like, uh, quick action button pressing, really. Alright, what have we got here? We've got one singular box of shotgun shells. I suppose this is a game that we have to- oh. Jesus! You- Doesn't really care about using letters to go down. Holy crap. Uh, let me check the map once more. Oh, we've already, uh, hit the limits on the shotgun shells. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything at the end here that would be useful for me. What take? Right through the- alright, right through the wall? That's perfectly fine with me. Just right through the fence. Okay, I think now we can probably go to the, uh, the designated area. I think it's this way. Um, yeah, it's this way. Let's go through the designated area. Is there going to be anything to stop us when we move this way? Can we check the sign? Sign reads, farm. And that's the only one in English. Ooh, careful. There's another thing to take there. Handgun ammunition, and what's this note? Alert order. Oh, someone is spying on us. But these reconnaissance photos appear to be a little bit more advanced than what these uh, villagers are capable of. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further noticed. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just coincidence. I'm sen I'm sensing a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men stay alert. Chief Vitores Mendez. Interesting. So there's someone trying to impede our progress. Wait, can I jump through there? That's all, can I slice these? 
No, I can't. I can't go through there at all. Uh, let's see what's in the other building here. There is... Absolutely nothing here. Alright, open and through the door. Oh, straight on. Interesting, okay, I, uh... Oh, feel like there's gonna be some people around here. I already see someone in the distance over on the right. Let's see what we got here. Is this openable? No, it is not. Oh, someone there. I feel like it would be safer for me to be at a distance here. That don't sound good at all. He's a little bit shaky, but I'm thinking I could just pick him off. There's also some blue objects around here for some reason. I wonder if they help at all. Um, actually, let me just check the map for a second. I'm right near a save point. Maybe I can, uh, quickly get to there before anything happens. Maybe. Ease it in. No one in here yet? A manhood tap. Interesting music. Oh, right, the save data. Okay, so if anything does happen, then, uh, I can always go back here. And try another, uh, alternative strategy. But I just know if I go close to these guys, if they see me, they're going to, uh, target me. So I don't know if I should be a little bit, uh, careful about those. Oh, one out of fifteen. Oh, do I have to shoot those? Alright, I'm gonna move over here. He sees me. Uh, it's a little bit... jank. I suppose if I was using the, uh, the PC, I could just use the mouse to target. Oh, shit. You dying yet? What oh, kick. I meant kick. Holy hell, I took his entire head off with that kick. What have you been eating for breakfast, man? 900 pesetas, nice. Ooh, what's this? It's a treasure. Man, it stinks. I didn't want that, I wanted this thing that's up here. Let me have it. I just wanna... I wanna pick up the thing. Let me do it. Um, can I slice it up? No, I'm guessing I have to shoot it down. Yeah, this is just gonna be a little bit janky. Oh shit. There we go. I'm probably wasting, uh, wasting bullets doing this. Alright, just take it nicely. I'm guessing I need to hit them before they finish their, uh, their... They're targeting of me, then they're talking. Alright, there's someone around there. I can hit him. Let me take a look at this. Oh, shit. I get him first. Oh, just need a little bit of targeting. Oh, shit. There we go. As I said, now I can look at this. About the blue medallions. 15 blue medallions, 7 in the farm, 8 in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy 10 or more will be awarded. The rest is illegible. Interesting. So that will be good for us, apparently. How many of uh, the bullets do we have right now? We... That's not it. That we have 13 left, so 23 in total. But we do have a lot of the shotgun shells, because we haven't been using them. So that'll be good to save. Alright, let's take what he dropped. 1,200 pesetas. Alright, are there any people in here? Nice and easy. I kinda wanna take out everyone before I start slicing away on the barrels. Open. Oh. Another spinel. Nice. Is there anyone up the top? Maybe. Hello! Oh, 
Oh, he's coming up. Well. He'll probably come back up. And then we'll just play funny buggers with him. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up. This is kind of funny. Oh, now he's dead. Okay. Just charge that back up. Ooh, another thing. Gonna try and hit it. Gonna try and hit it. Alright, so all I have to do is just break those and then that's it. Knock down. Oh, is that supposed to help me? Can I put it back up? Raise up. Okay. Is there anything else up there? There's a cabinet that I can open. And inside that, I get some more handgun ammunition, which is very well needed. Uh, jump down. Never mind the, uh, never mind the letters, because apparently... Leon has some very strong legs and some very thick thighs. Actually, that was proven in the, uh, in Resident Evil 2. Uh, this guy seems to be, uh, running his legs a little bit too close to each other. You need to work on those thighs. They're rubbing too close together. Although it could be said that thick thighs save lives. Alright, let's see if this, uh, dog or wolf will be... Oh, he's just running. Alright, that's fair enough. It's just not going to attack us. Alright, can I deal with anything here? Um, there's something I can shoot here. One of the medallions. It... There we go. Is there anything in here? Check. Nothing here except a stinking pool of manure. It doesn't even look like manure, it looks like just water and maggots. Okay, I'm not seeing any um, enemies around here, so maybe I can do a bit of shooting, unless there's something over on the side here. There may be someone in the building. The door. Which way am I supposed to go? Down there, apparently. And I've already got some markers telling me where the medallions are. But there's no enemies, from what I can see. Unless there's some in the building. But isn't this the building that I just went through? Or is this a different one? It feels like the same one. Yeah, this was the one that I just opened. It doesn't look, like they, doesn't look like there are any more enemies. So I can just start slicing and dicing before I go through there. Um, but considering that, um... Man, it stinks. Can I just shoot this down? I can. You got the dirty pearl pendant. Well, how the hell was I supposed to collect it anyway? Alright, um... Considering that I killed those enemies, uh... I might want to, and considering the time... I might explore this, uh, the rest of this area in the next episode and move on. Alright, so I do apologize for my very bugged up way of doing these episodes, not really doing so much of cutscene stuff and, uh, fixing up when I do, because I'm still trying to understand this game. But in the next episode, we're going to explore this little bit of the village, and then we're going to keep going to see if we can get any further progress to finding the president's daughter. So, thank you so much for stumbling onto one of the most average gaming channels out there. Like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video. Check the corresponding playlist, any of the recommended, or any of the social links below. I'm the Average Rook, and I shall see you soon, for there is more average content coming your way!